So we all know in most 2Ks, post scores are impossible to defend. And that's not going to change at all in NBA 2K25 because this 7 foot 3 post score can pretty much dominate offensively on NBA 2K25. And as always with most of my videos, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this build and then I'm going to be giving you guys gameplay to watch this build in action in the rec center at the back half of this video. And if you guys wanted my post scoring animations, here are all of them right here. And if you wanted my jump shot, which I am pretty much changing every single day, which is why I haven't really recommended you guys a jump shot. Here's a jump shot that I was using for most of the video on this build. All right, so when making this post score build, we are going to be going with the height of seven foot three, weight 249 pounds with a seven foot three wingspan. Now most people, when they make post scores, it's usually a max wingspan version of the build but i'm not gonna lie to you guys max wingspan seven threes when it comes to like post scoring aren't really that great simply because the post hooks aren't great this year it's very hard to time post hooks even just wide open post hooks it's hard to time so post hooks aren't really the go-to move for these type of builds this year the post fade is definitely the way to go they're really hard to contest and they're relatively easy to time especially once you get labbing with the right stick rhythm shooting on post fades and with this build we're gonna get post fade feed on hall of fame and you can max plus one it if you want to all the way up to legend we're gonna start things off with the finishing here and we're gonna put the post control to a 94 now obviously you could go higher with the post control if you want but this is me setting this build up for eventually getting cap breakers so 94 post control is all we need to get post up powerhouse on hall of fame post up poet on gold and as you can see you can go 95 to get post poet on hall of fame but i think it's just worth waiting to get your first set of cap breakers before you end up putting that upgraded so with the, your first set of cap breakers that you get at starter three you can then put your post control to a 99 which will get you post powerhouse post up poet on legend but but since we don't want to do that just yet, we're just going to go to 94. And then our close shot on this build is actually going to be a 92. It's going to get us Paint Prodigy on gold, float game on Hall of Fame. Like I mentioned, hooks are not great in this game. We're not going to go up to a 94 to get hook specialist on Hall of Fame. We're just going to leave it at a 92. And then for the standing dunk, we're actually going to put this up to an 81. It's going to get you the basic big man standing contact dunks and rise up on silver. You can go up to 90 if you want, but it's very difficult to try and do that. So I think 81 is going to be perfectly fine. Then for the shooting, we're maxing things out here, man. 90 mid range shot. It's going to get you dead eye on silver post fade phenom on hall of fame like i mentioned and set shot specialist on gold the good thing with the post fade phenom is that like i mentioned when you get the max plus one badge perks at level 30 for i believe the tier one badges you can then plus one that all the way to legend so on this build with the gameplay you guys are going to see in this video we had legend post fade phenom on a seven foot three post score yeah not not fun to defend not fun to defend so now for the playmaking side of things, obviously the three pointer is going to be an 85. It's going to get you limitless reigns on bronze. Since it's a tier two, you probably could plus one into silver if you wanted to. So yeah, you could probably put limitless range on silver unless there's some other badge down here somewhere that you would want to upgrade. Pass accuracy is only going to be a 65. It's kind of low, but I'm planning to use this build for ones and twos, but I can use it for fives. I've actually used it on fives more than anything else, and I've had fun with it on fives. And you guys are going to see later on in the video, you can still throw breaks with a 65 pass accuracy. You just got to be smart when you throwing them so now for the defensive side of things we're gonna go 60 prim defense steel is kind of just forced where it's at <clears throat> save for the interior defense realistically i probably could go 93 that's probably what we'll do we'll go 93 interior to get the hall of fame post we've locked out since it's right there the block's only going to be a 74 though and then we're going to get this defensive rebound to 85 for the gold box out beast and then we'll put the rest on offensive rebound and i think i can't draw yet yeah, no, i can't drop that any lower so we're not going to have a whole lot of o board on this build but this is really like a shot chucking like post score type of build you'll still get some o boards with 64 and yes the rebounding isn't too great on this build this is definitely an offensive post score type of build so it's not the most meta build. 74 block will get the job done, especially since you have 93 interior defense. That Hall of Fame post move lockdown that will probably be really nice. And from what I've seen with testing so far, whether it's 2K toots, 2K labs, from just personal experience, this is a high interior defense here. Eh, having high block can only do you so much. If you don't get the block, your contests are not going to be great with high block and low interior. You're going to need higher interior to get good contests in this shoes game. So I think 93 interior is going to be really good on this build, even though we only have bronze paint patroller now coming down to the strength again this build is kind of future proof so we went 96 we need 96 strength to get post up powerhouse on legend when we eventually put cap riggers on the post control but with the 96 strength currently we get box out beast on gold brick wall on hall of fame post lockdown on hall of fame and post powerhouse on hall of fame so defensively, this build's going to be great in the paint. You're going to be able to defend post scores out the post. If they make contested layups on you, it is what it is. But you do have a 93 interior defense. They're not going to be able to back you down because you have high strength. They're not going to be able to drop step you. So they're not going to get in good positioning to mash on you in the first place. And uh, yeah, 
I think this is pretty much the way I would remake this build. I kind of made a couple mistakes when I made the build for the first time, but this is definitely how I would remake it if I were to remake it. I might actually remake it because this was one of my favorite builds that I've played on so far. But yeah, so now coming out of the My Player Builder, we're going to get shades of Arvita Sabonis, Brook Lopez, and Yusuf Nurkic. And the build name we're going to get on this build is 2A3 level score. So not really too surprising, but yeah. Now, with that being said, this is going to be it for the build section of this video, but now let's get to the rec gameplay where I was playing on this build for the very first time. All right, here we go. First game on the seven foot three post scoring stretch big. We got legend post fake phenom already on this build. Everything else is going to be silver badges. I don't have any other hot zones either. Like this build is fresh out the builder credit card already swiped and whatnot. And this build costs a lot of VC. So make sure you guys like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Going up against a seven foot, uh, seven foot inside. Actually, no, it might be a popper. Seven foot popper, 95 block, 93 pass act, 90 standing dunk. Okay, so like a meta meta center build for the most part for sure. But uh, yeah, he's going up against the big 7-3 ski. I hope he's got good interior. Doesn't look like it. Hey, man. I lied. Hey, man. There we go. There we go. We just got to get in rhythm, fellas. Well, that's convenient. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Jesus, I'm getting reached at immediately. 8-0 run. Great way to start. Haven't been really been able to post up a whole lot, but hey, we got that wide open catch and shoot three. Hit you on the cut, my brother. Beautiful. Raining. I'll leave my fade open, brother. I got post fade phenom on legend. Hey, not bad for 65 pass sack. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. <laughs> Is that what everybody else says when they drop step somebody? LT? LT? Greeny. I can shoot, brother. I can shoot. Hmm, the post fade. I got a small forward setting me screens. Let's go. Hmm, guard the post fade, brother. That post fade is clean, man. For the people that have made it this far into the video and didn't watch the section where I talked about the animations, that is Kevin Durant post fade. Because I know some people skip around the video here and there, which is cool. You know, you're trying to get your bang for buck. I get it. You know, I do it too. So, hey, you know, it's also, you know, it's my bad on me. You know, if I'm making you, if you guys are skipping through the videos, that's my bad on me. I got to be a better content creator and give you guys a reason not to skip. Hey, there's that 80 standing dunk. Hey. I got a message from hide yo sis. Who is that? Oh, the two guard put the viz. Okay. Okay. Shout out to you, man. You made it into the video, bro. <laughs> Easy. Easy. You see anybody down there? I don't see nobody down there. Uh, four second drill. Uh, uh. Power forward. Bruh. All right, whatever. Hey, man. Crazy, crazy first game. Crazy first game on the brand new post score, bro. 2016 and 8. 8 for 12 from the field. 2 for 4 from 3. Ended up not getting player of the game. Hydeo Sis got player of the game, which was actually the person that messaged me middle middle of the game and said, uh, you know, I, f I f with the vids or whatever. He had 26, 3, 2. Shot pretty good from 3. So, hey, man. <laughs> My post up powerhouse went up like crazy that game. So did post up poet. And this is also proof that, again, this is the very first time I played on the build because you can see the progression, like, literally just started so all right seven foot all right his interior defense is below a 90 because he's got 93 block 92 deep board 90 stand up 90 o board i already know what he's gonna give me appreciate you just by the, the way that he guards me from three i can already tell what shot he's gonna give me in the midi i mean let's tango yeah man man I blocked it. Oh, whoopsie. Sorry. 
It's just like dudes think they have to just launch the ball up the court and immediately score as quick as possible. I got to hitch again. I don't know what I got to do to not hitch. It's okay, brother. He's my baby. Green. Get a little bump. Get a little bump and then just turn back the other way. Free his bucket. Free his bucket. I'm not like you, brother. I can strap a dap a do that thing, brother. Green. All right. Excuse me. Green. He just made a late. Let's go. 23, five. My, my, my boy Sprague was horsing. I had, I had a block. 10 for 14, 3 for 5 from 3. That's efficiency, fellas. That's efficiency. I'm playing on high risk. I got a double green every single one of my shots. But my guy that I'm guarding can make an early. Or a late. What was it? A late? It was a late. My bad. Hold on. Green. That's easy. Maybe it was just a... It was just a first shot type thing. You know, just give it to me. I'll shoot it. Just give it to me. I'll shoot it. Green. <laughs> uh. Oh, he just smoked it open. Hey. Yeah, let's go. You know it, baby. Hey, hey, hey! Mama, mama. When you, when you, when, when people overplay a spin drive in this year's game, you can like drop step in the opposite direction, and they like are just so out of position by the time you do the animation. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is what we like to call a fridge game. A game so good that you print it out and you put it on the fridge because you didn't miss a shot. Let's go. Come a little 13, 13 to assist, a steal and a block. I got a steal with 25 steal by just uh, tapping X and getting a lane. So that's cool. I got 43K buy points. That's also kind of cool. Halo R8N liked my play. Oh, the power forward liked my play. <laughs> I bet you did. I bet you did.